Hello and welcome to the video. Um, I'm going to try and bring my van into my garage uh, because uh, since we've cleared it all out and uh, made it a little bit a bit emptier, um, I just wanted to see if I can bring it in part of the way in because there's too many things in here. I can't really take it all the way into the into the garage itself and close the door behind it. But uh, it's useful in being able to work undercover. So we'll give that a try. that wasn't bad and hopefully this is recording me because uh, these external mics are a little bit temperamental especially cheap ones like this one so it seems okay let's bring you over here So, you can see the state of the inside isn't brilliant at the moment, but the main uh, problem we've got, in fact, I think, I, think I, sh I should actually... Let's put you over there and see if I can stand this up while I reverse. And sorry for my useless camera framing. Um, there we go, I'll lean that up there. And hopefully you can still see me. Hello. So, let's bring it back a bit, because I wanted to investigate something on the passenger side and of course I can't do that whoops because it's too close to the wall move it across so I've got a bit more room and of course to get into the the passenger side I have to undo it from the inside so I think we'll cut that okay that's fine right We'll just take you around to the other side of the van. Excuse me, move you over here and crash you into the top of the door. Whoops. So, I can't actually see what I'm videoing because I've got the, my phone the other way. So, I'll just turn this around here like that. You can see. Here in the corner of the floor, there's a nice little gap, and you can actually see the driveway through there. So that's not brilliant because um, I think if you saw in a previous video, I tried to repair it with some epoxy putty. Uh, basically, uh, in there, you've got uh, a problem because um, the epoxy putty that I put in there was so brittle uh, that it just came out. Um, I think the damp got to it and it just fell off. So I've got to find another way of repairing that. And that's one of the things I've got to do now. Um, there's a few other jobs that need doing, and I think we'll, we'll go through those uh, bit by bit. So the next thing to do is to pop open the, the bonnet and uh, 
that's a lever that is just above the accelerator so I can remember where it is I haven't opened the bonnet for a little while so we just put a hand underneath here the catch and I'll bring you over here so you can have a quick look and we can see what's what's what uh, that's got worse so I'll take you over here and first of all let's stick that on focus this thing here this um, member is a lot rustier than it was last year in fact I'm a little bit worried about it because it is not very good not a very good state at all um, last year it was actually I don't know you could actually see paint on it now you can't so that's not very good so that basically holds the the member this big black member here at the back holds the, the suspension leg which is I can just lift my camera up a little bit there we are which is there so basically this this thing here is holding the front of the um, the van on well basically the dash panel so that's attached to a member that's holding the suspension leg and this comes around here and it goes sort of behind here uh, with the lock on so the next job is going to be taking the front dash off So as you can see here, I've, I've taken the, the screws I've put in on the, the front dash panel and um, it's basically made up of a, an Allen key screw and a spring-loaded nut. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if it's such a good idea to put those on because I had a bit of a problem taking them off. Well, it wasn't that bad, but I had to stick my hand underneath the wheel arch to hold on to this while I unscrewed it and sometimes it, it didn't want to unscrew but I suppose we'll, we'll put up with that until I can find a better solution so we'll see how that goes but um, now I need to I've taken the side screws off here and now I need to take off the ones either side of the bolt which needs a different uh, allen key so we'll see if we can take it out that, ah very good so that was quite uh, painless so I'm gonna bring you over here and I'll show you a bit more of the the engine so I've well, got a nice new oil filter that the, the garage put in about a month and a half two months ago so I'll just explain to you the sort of things we need to get on with. Um, I know it's very dark in there, but that's what I was looking at before. I looked at it from the other side. Let's see if I can put the camera underneath here. Uh, there we go. You can see that uh, yeah, it's pretty much rusty. In fact, all around that. Well, I think that's dirt there. That's um, basically the thing that's holding the headlights on. Brilliant, isn't it? So yeah, um, it's like the tripod's getting in the way and I'm trying to film there. See that's a bit rusty that is. Yeah, so that's gonna have to be treated somehow. I don't think it's completely gone. You see it's quite solid, it just needs some um, wire brushing, um, rust um, converter, I guess. So that's one thing that he's doing, um, all that side. Uh, the rust here has got even worse compared to last year. All of that's rusty, so that needs sorting as well. That's just little areas, you've got a little area at the back there. Can see that next to the the transmission there yeah that's all rusty as well that's where we we put the 
that's the back that's a bracket at the back of the um, protection bar this protection bar here that's the back bracket yeah because the ones here if you look around you see so you've got the strut on either side the protection bar is held on this side and the problem we've got is that it's basically the the soundproofing that's causing that it's not the first time we've had that problem uh, this old soundproofing that was put in by exam starting to get a bit tired and I need to find a way of sorting that out we've been here before so yeah the main jobs are going to be the rust spots around the subframe variously um, that's quite straightforward really it's just those bits there really um, and what it's like behind here let's have a look see if I can find the same I can't really yeah it's in about the same state let's stick the camera up there yeah you can see right at the, the top of the picture it is Hang on, it's there behind the headlight you can see that behind the headlight just I can only see it on my just see it on my screen yeah it's just about the same state the other side as well so I'm gonna have to remove this soundproofing and uh, yeah I'll have to attack that so that's just a, a brief uh, assessment of what needs doing um, I thought uh, it might be interesting to, to have a look because it's been practically not quite a year but it's I think uh, the last time I took the front off was um, probably last uh, September October time and uh, I think that uh, now it's time to crack on with things now weather's a little better um, holidays are nearly here as well so uh, we've got a, a few weeks before that happens and uh, my kids will be off school too so hopefully I'll get some help uh, so yeah thanks for watching the video and uh, feel free to come back and see what I get up to take care of yourselves bye